Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lily and I'm a college student at Bryant University. I do mainly lifestyle and college related content, so definitely subscribe and stick around if that's what you're into. Today, I'm going to be doing my ever so requested skincare routine. I've been talking about on my channel a lot about how I've been struggling with bad skin. If you've seen my vlogs, you know I'm very open about the fact that I don't have perfect skin sucks but that's life so i just thought that i would share my skincare routine and sort of show what i've been doing to sort of help my skin and really make my skin reach its full potential so yeah without further ado let's just get into it so it's about 11 30 at night right now so i'm doing my nighttime portion of my skincare um there'll be a morning portion in the morning basically what i like to do to get started is simple as it sounds just pull my hair back because there's nothing worse than trying to put like serums and stuff on your face and it gets all caught in your hair like no thanks so i always pull my hair back ponytail moment and then i really like using one of these headbands i will link i don't know if i can find this exact one but i will link a headband down below as well as all of the products and tools that i use i will link to the best of my ability but yeah you know it's not the cutest look but it works and then what I also like to do since I have fairly long hair is I tuck the ponytail into the back of the headband that way when I lean forward and like wash my face it's not all over the place so the first thing I do at night is I just take some micellar water and I put it on cotton square um I use the green micellar water the Garnier one this one's for oily skin i focus it on my eyes but then as i oh nasty i'm grabbing a new one because that's putrid as i mentioned i focus it on my eye and then once like most of my eye makeup's off i sort of just move on to my eyebrows and then i eventually just sort of wipe my entire face and then i take it into the bathroom so of course i plan to film this video my skin's been super clear i'm like awesome can't wait to show people how i've been keeping my skin so clear this sucker shows up. I'm like, I can't freaking win. It's like huge protruding pimple on my chin. But you know what? There is nothing I can do. It's hormonal. It shit hurts. So the first thing I do is I wash my face. I use the Cetaphil cleanser. Um, I've just been using a little travel size one that I brought home with me. My little sister has a pump. This is her pump. Um, I don't use hers though and there's your hair on it, Ava. But I know she's gonna watch this video and accuse me of using this. I don't use this one, Ava. But I find that this cleanser is awesome because it's super gentle and it cleans my skin really well without like making my skin freak out. I have very sensitive skin, I don't know if I said that. So along with my Cetaphil cleanser, I clean my face with a spin brush. This is the Radiant Spin Care System by Duval. They were kind enough to send this to me, which I'm so grateful for. They sent this to me in around October and it's just taking me now to talk about it because I really wanted to try it out. I really wanted to be sure and try it out and make sure it really made a notable difference with my skin. Comes with the normal cleansing head, which is what I have on right now an exfoliating brush head, an exfoliating body brush head, which is awesome to exfoliate before you put on self-tanner. And it also comes with a pumice stone, which you know you can use on your feet, super awesome. I have been using this and I have noticed such a big difference in my skin. It's powerful enough that it really gets into your pores and really cleanses it. And it definitely leaves my skin feeling super, super clean and really bright, but it's not so aggressive that like, it aggravates my skin because I do have very sensitive skin. So again, thank you so much Duval for sending me this. If you want to try this yourself at home, definitely be sure to order one. I have a discount code for you guys. It is just my name, Lily Swain. Also have a link down below with the code. You can go check it out there. My code is for 70% off, which means you're essentially getting on a $100 brush for $28.50. That's insane. If you've been having really bad breakouts from wearing a mask and just in general, seriously try this brush. So how I actually go about washing my face with it, I'm gonna tell you what I do first and then do it because you're not gonna be able to hear me over the sink and everything. I wet my face with warm water, I wet the bristles, and then I put a little bit of cleanser on the brush head and I wash my face. Look how much makeup is on the brush. Mind you, I already wiped my face with micellar water. So if you're only using micellar water, keep this in mind. Yeah, so that's basically how I cleanse my skin. Um, my skin feels so clean. I like can't even express how satisfying it feels. It feels so nice. 
yeah so now that my face is washed i'm gonna go back into my room and use moisturizer and everything so the next thing i do i don't do this every day i do this typically like twice a week because it's not good to do it every single day so this is a step i just take in between washing my face and the next step so this is a microneedler i've been super into microneedling my face it helps with scarring and acne marks obviously these three bad boys are new so that's why i'm doing this today um basically it sounds scary microneedling but what it basically is i don't know if you're able to see this but it's a roller that has like little needles hence microneedling and you roll it on your face i'm gonna do it in the mirror so i'm not gonna do it on camera but basically you roll all in one direction and then you roll in the opposite direction and basically what it does is it does like little pricks to your skin it doesn't hurt it just it honestly i don't think it hurts at all it just feels like pressure and what it does is it sort of like pricks your skin which then causes like healing and a new layer of your skin to like come to the surface and form i don't know i'm not a skincare professional but i do know it works and it's awesome so i'm gonna microneedle my face and then we'll do the next step All right, so once I microneedle my face, I would do this anyway if I didn't microneedle my face, I use a toner. Especially when you're microneedling, you wanna make sure that you use something with some sort of like antibacterial qualities to it because you are essentially opening your skin, believe it or not. So I use this Balancing Witch Hazel Serum, which is a toner as well as a serum. And there is witch hazel in it, but you, I recommend something with witch hazel in it. I just sort of drop it, oh! See, I can't do this without a mirror. I'm just gonna go do it in the mirror and tell you what I'm doing, but I drop it all over my face. Don't touch the dropper to your face, that's unsanitary. And then I rub it in with a rose quartz roller. I swear by this combo, awesome. So I'm gonna go do that. Something that's really important to remember when rolling your face is to always roll upwards. You don't wanna roll downwards. You want to circulate up so you don't have saggy skin. Well, you can also bring this on your neck. Just go to town. And I have one of those little cosmetic refrigerators and I keep that in here on my vanity. It's awesome. I also keep the serum in there. So once I do my serum slash toner, I use a moisturizer. I just use the Pond's Daily Moisturizer because it's really good for dry skin obviously as it's a moisturizer but it's also just like unscented and super gentle because as i said a million times i have very sensitive skin and i find that this one's like heavy duty for nighttime but not like pore clogging so yeah i just take a little bit and rub it on my face as you would and i also do a little massage up in there when i do it and then my very last step which i don't do every single time i'm gonna do it if i have one of these bad boys is i have this again it's for my mom so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to link it but it's a benzyl peroxide purifying serum it's a spot treatment so i just take a little bit of it on my finger and i put it on my fat juicy zit to dry it up i also have one on my forehead so i'm gonna put that there these are marks so i'm not gonna put anything on them because that'll hurt yeah just let those vibe Something to take note of is you should be changing your, um, I don't want to call it an acid, but it essentially is an acid what you're putting on your face, but you want to be changing it up whether you're using a benzoyl peroxide, a salicylic acid, um, even like sulfur. You want to use, you want to switch that up regularly because your skin will sort of like adapt to the acidity of whatever you're putting on your face and it'll just get used to it and it'll reject it and stop working so i typically used salicylic acid but recently now switching to benzoyl peroxide because obviously the salicylic acid was no longer working but yeah that is essentially my nighttime skincare routine um i also was wearing contacts and i took them out so now i'm blind so I'm my glasses on but yeah i will hop on in the morning when i show you guys my morning skincare routine hey guys good morning um when it comes to my skincare routine in the morning i am a bit of a cartfish because i don't really do anything because 
I don't really feel it's necessary to keep aggressively washing my face because I do so much to it at night. So in the morning, I just take my micellar water again. This again is the green cap one, so it's the mattifying one. So it's especially good for the morning because it just sort of like helps mattify your skin. And if you're anything like me and you're oily, you can use all the help you can get. So I basically just, again, put it on cotton square and just sort of wipe it all over my face. So I do it down my neck a little bit. And like, that's literally putrid. But yeah, that's all I do to like wash my face. And then I'll go in with the same moisturizer, my Pons one. And I use a much smaller amount during the day because as I've said a million times, my skin's very oily. Like I literally just take like that much. Can you even see that? I don't know. It's like a pea size amount. And I focus it on my jawline and cheeks because that's where I've been having the most breakouts. And then I just sort of blend it all over my face. But I like focus the bulk of it in this area because that's where most of my breakouts are. And that's where I have the most dryness from drying out those breakouts. But yeah, that's literally all I do in the morning. Again, I know my skin's not perfect, but like that's what I do to take care of it to the best of my ability. Again, I do have a few breakouts right now, but like that's showbiz, you know? All right, guys, that concludes my skincare routine. As I've said a million times, I know my skin's not perfect. I was trying to time this out to film it at a point where my skin was looking really good because I do have good days, I do have bad days, but timing worked out my skin looks like this right now that's showbiz everything that i showed you in this video has truly helped my skin so if you have acne prone oily skin try this out this could help you if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and again there will be a code in the description box you could just use lily swain for 70 percent off your very own duval skin care system brush so definitely go check that out. I seriously could not say enough good things about it. If you have acne prone skin or just very clogged pores, it seriously will save your life. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.